Hey guys, it's Amber, and I'm getting ready to get started here on day 22. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want it to look like right now. Um, what I have here is just a simple story about being busy and tank out saving the day, basically. Um, so I thought it would be fun to layer my journaling on vellum over the photos because, you know, nobody needs pictures of the actual food. It just, you know, was representative of what I had that day. So I was thinking about using one of these awesome 4 by 6 cards that I still have left from this, um, my mind's eye paper, but none of them, I have two which ones and a 31, it's not Halloween yet, um, so I can't use them. And I thought about the skeleton. I did look into a couple different like pieces of paper to put it on, or um, I, I even looked at something like truly bold because I thought it would be really fun. It's after like really nice soft fall layout, so it would be like turning the page and being like hit in the face with lime green. Um, and I'm not really sure that's the look I want to go for. I've been dying to try to use this moth butterfly paper from Heidi Swap. So what I'm considering... I was thinking about using the skeleton here, but it just seemed so out of place. You know, because I even thought about putting the butterfly here with my numbers and having that help me turn pages. I think I'm going to forgo this for now. And now I'm looking at a few different options here. So I actually really love this spiderweb paper. It's a perfect color. I'm not sure it goes with butterflies, but something I was thinking about doing is the spiderwebs this multicolor star here. Um, I think that's a little, it's, I think it's just as busy as the others, but because of all the colors, it seems even busier. So I'm pulling that one out. And then lastly, I was looking at this bright orange star paper, which is a little bit left from my Civil Stories Happy Haunting. Um, just to give you an idea of like what that would look like. So it matches, it kind of, you know, gets your attention. So I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do, if that's going to be it or not. Um, and if I use that and put my butterfly die cut, I have two. One is very different in the color scheme. It doesn't really match well, even though it would coordinate. It's just kind of a totally different color. Don't love it because um, it's just very yellow, tan. Um, but I have these dark red numbers. The problem is I don't know how well they will show up on top of the butterfly. Or I could dig out, which I didn't do yet, sorry. Um, black puffy numbers. These potentially. I'm not sure that they are bold enough to show up on top of the butterfly and I think they're gonna to be too dark. So I could go with the white again, but I just did them on day 21. So that's kind of where I'm stuck. So I figured the next best step would be to pull these out. They would of course be closer together problem is, is it's so plain. Um, it's just literally a moth stuck on top of stars, which don't really coordinate. So that's why I'm a little bit stuck. Um, I considered this paper, you know, because it's not thematic. It's just colored the same way. So that's kind of where I'm stuck at right now. It's just deciding how to hide it. And then my plan for how to get to the product was maybe just to do two of the star brads so that this could be lifted up um, or have everything be mounted, like have the base photo be mounted and have everything else just be on one corner potentially so that you can lift it a little bit easier and see. 
so I still don't really love the skeleton. I just don't really have anything else that's a 4x6 vertical that would coordinate. I did even consider cutting out like a 4x6 set of these squares here, you know, in or, or cutting out different ones that would coordinate and trying to get something that sort of matched, but nothing here is really butterfly-y, but I like the eek, the jeepers creepers, the happy haunting, um, would all look cool because they're the right color scheme. So I could maybe make something out of that by picking and choosing. So I'm gonna pause it, think about what I'm gonna do, and then we'll build the rest of it together. I might even dig through my stash a little bit and just see if I have any other papers that would work. I've kind of already gone through everything though. And uh, I just, at this point, have to make a decision. So we'll see where we end up. So I dug through my stash and I found one more piece of patterned paper from this same Simple Stories line. It has that nice dark reddish orange. It's got some pink, white, and black. So it'll help pull the pink through the album like I'm trying to do. And it's just a busy pattern, but it doesn't compete with the butterflies. So I thought that, that was a good solution. So I knew I couldn't just leave the butterfly by itself in the middle but uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. So I'm just pulling out some brads here. I originally thought I could get away with just doing one in the corner, but I'm gonna end up needing to do one in each corner because they just slide as soon as the album goes vertical. So I'm just getting the holes punched there. I was able to go through all four layers at the same time, which was kind of nice and a little bit easier. So I'm gonna use my half inch double-sided traffic tape from Gina K to mount the bottom photo and I actually go through all of this before realizing I need to punch the holes through, but I've already connected the paper to the out um, project on the other side, so I just peel it back a little and I'm able to poke it right through. So here, um, I'm just getting everything mounted down, centering it up, and then I decide I'm gonna do a three inch black cardstock circle in the middle of that butterfly. Uh, for it to be mounted on and help it stand out. But I wanted to see what the thickers looked like. And I also wanted to go through my butterfly sash and see if I could find anything else that would coordinate, but nothing really matched. Tried some cork and I did like the way that looked, but it was just gonna make it too thick. So I opted just to stick with plain. So I've got some basil cardstock there to the right, or sorry, left. I'm gonna use my three inch punch. It takes a lot of effort to punch it down. Um, and then I'm just gonna glue it down, right smack in the middle, and I'll leave you with a live look in just a moment. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you soon for day 23 and 24. Thanks again. Bye. Okay guys, so I decided to stitch the middle of the butterfly down so that the wings could pop up a little bit. They'll stay kind of mostly flattened from the book, but this way they'll have a little bit of dimension and it's just kind of for fun. So I'm just going to adhere this down and I'm all done with day 22.